five best ruckmen heading into the 2024 AFL season. At number five, we've got Fremantle's Sean Darcy. Despite only playing 15 games in the 2023 season and having to share the duties with Luke Jackson in the ruck, he is still shown to be one of the dominant ruckmen in the game. With only 15 games he played, he still averaged 39 hitouts per match, which is second among any ruckman in the AFL. He'll be looking to have this sort of impact and play more games in the 2024 season, combining with Luke Jackson and looking to get Fremantle into finals contention. At number four, we've got Gold Coast's Jared Witts. He has had an amazing 2023 season, adding with all the other few years he's had great seasons. Arguably one of the best tap ruckmen in the game. He did average 39.2 hitouts of this season and averaged 12.4 hitouts to advantage, which is number one out of anyone in the competition. Now with Damien Hardwick being at the club, he'll be looking to lead the Gold Coast Suns into hopefully their first finals berth and looking to continue his rough dominance that he's been having over the last few years. Number three, we've got Melbourne's Max Gorn. He's been the premium AFL ruckman for quite some time. He had to share the load with Brody Grundy for most of the 2023 season, but when they dropped Grundy and Max Gorn got, went back to being the number one ruckman, he was able to show his complete dominance, what he's been doing for quite some time. Head our work and the ability to find the footy was very valuable for Melbourne later in the season. Melbourne will be looking to see if he can continue his premium rucking form heading into the 2024 season. Number two, we've got St Kilda's Rowan Marshall. Really had a breakout season in 2023. Came very close to being the All-Australian Ruckman just behind Western Bulldogs' as Tim English. He is a prime example of what a modern day Ruckman is. Person who's able to win hitouts, able to win his own footy. He was number one amongst Ruckman in average disposals with 20.5 a match and had 115 total tackles, which was also number one across Ruckman. Marshall made a big difference for St Kilda's rise into finals and they'll be looking to see if he can do that again for the Saints as they head into the 2024 season and he'll be looking to go that next level and get his first All-Australian jacket. At number one, we've got Western Bulldogs' is Tim English. He's having a career best form at the moment, earning his first All-Australian jacket in 2023, and he averaged nearly 20 disposals a game and kicking 16 goals across the season and making the second most tackles out of any ruckman. He averaged 31.2 hitouts a game, which was in the top five in the AFL, and he had 10.5 hitouts to advantage. Like Marshall, definitely a prime example of the current modern-day ruckman, a player who can win hitouts and get the footy around the ground. But the thing that separates him from any other ruckman in the AFL is his overall work rate around the ground and the ability to find the footy wherever he goes. Well deserving of the number one ruck spot, but there'll be plenty of other ruckmen looking to try and get that number one spot from him this year. Let us know what you think of this top five. Did we get it right or did we miss anyone out? We have done a top five of the best key defenders in the game right now. If you just click this video here, you can see that top five now.